All right, some more testing has been done. I finally finished this particular test, or this quick test. We've got these 3D printed lithophanes. Um, I did two things. Printed on the Core 1, and then I printed on them on the Eufy Make E1. Now, the texture is up on both sides, right? So you can see the texture, both sides. But I printed flat image on this side, and I printed onto the texture. Now, off the bat, I will say one complaint. Still, you know, it's optical alignment. It's really hard to get precisely exactly on the edges. It would be nice if there was a a way to make a layout grid and a CAD file to where I can make a jig, put these in, place the image directly at a coordinate system and print and get the exact same thing. Hopefully that's coming. Anyways, I wanted to see. I want to start with the flat one. Uh, we'll just hold it directly up to my light here. Um, that kind of works. There's kind of some light coming through. Um, flipping it over, it's amazing. You get just enough light coming through on all the stars and the nebulas there. It's beautiful. But I'm, le I'm less of a fan of that one. Here's I'm more of a fan of this textured one. Oh yeah. It, it's like it lets more light through. Isn't that beautiful? You can actually see some printing defects. I haven't tuned this pet G in at all, but, and then flipping it over, still with the uh, minimal light coming through. So, yeah. But yeah, instead of spending hours and hours and hours printing Hue Forge prints and swapping material, um, this print, which took 35 minutes-ish to slice, 30 minutes, uh, it took, you know, three or four hours to print, and uh, it took five minutes on the E1 to print over it. And it's durable. It's, you know, it's on there. And it is gorgeous. I just can't get over that in the light. It does exactly what I want it to. All the stars shine. That's beautiful. We need more aerospace stuff. Need more inspiration. All right, I think I know what uh, my next set of stuff is going to be. It's always going to be textured. Flat's not so great. 